What's going on guys? It's your boy Miles Morales. Welcome back to the bonus round. It, look in the description, that's why I said that, but um uh, we got some news today. Recently we um which is this is some really crazy news, but the amazing Spider-Man 3 might still be happening. Now <laughs> now listen up, okay? Recently there has been a uh like a casting call, like they're calling out for actors and uh, directors, maybe, well, not directors, but, like, people to help make The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, um, this was posted on BillBeckman.com. It's actually a legit site. Um, I'll put that in the link description so you can actually see what the, uh, the casting call actually looks like. Now, um, it's, they already have a, sh uh, a shooting spot. It's called, it's in Atlanta, Georgia, and one of my brothers used to live over there. But, um, yeah, uh, a lot of people are turning apart. It's like, no, this is going against everything. What if he goes back to Marvel? What if, what if this is rebooted? I mean, they're still going on with the franchise. And I was thinking, I was like, hmm, okay. This could go either way. This could go either way. I don't know how I feel, per se, about this. But that is why I came with three good reasons and three bad reasons why this is what's going on. Okay, so main Spider-Man franchise is still going, what it looks like now. There's three good reasons, there's three bad reasons, okay? Let's get it on. One good reason is we get to see the rest of the franchise. Now, let this be clear. Let me be clear. Uh, Mark Webb, as the director, has, this, has his vision for Spider-Man and for Peter Parker. And I said this in my last video. It would be un injustice to him to have him start but not finish. It's just like you start something good. But you can't finish it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start. You gotta finish what you start. And that would just be really, like, really sad for Mark. Is because him as a director, he wants to finish what he has for this film and for the franchise. But he won't be able to finish. But um, if we if he does, then we get to see what he has for Amazing Spider-Man three and Amazing Spider-Man four and all that extra stuff. But yeah, okay, good reason. And one bad reason why is, alright, it's the biggest reason why we might not get to see Spider-Man in the MCU of Marvel Cinematic Universe, but alright, so here's my thoughts on that. Now, I'm kind of like, oh man, we get to see, we were kind of missing on, we're going to have to wait on him being with Tony Stark and uh, Captain America and Thor and fighting along the Avengers, we're going to miss that. Or we'll not completely miss that, but we'll just have to postpone it or hold on to it. Like, wait, like, whoa, calm down. Like, that's not until a whole another decade, you know what I'm saying? But, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, alright. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, we might not see him in the MCU, which is really sad. But, um, I, I personally was like, yeah, let me just, let me just get the rest of this franchise first. But, um... But if you want to go over to the MCO, you do that. But we might not get to see him, which is really heartbreaking. But we, we don't know for sure. This isn't, like, quote-unquote, Sony released official. But we'll see. As we always do. Because we're the fans. Alright, another good reason is we might see the symbiote slash Venom again. Now, we was like, whoa, this is a good reason we get to see Venom again from Sony? Alright, let this be clear. This is... Not Sam Raimi anymore. Now, and this is not the old Sony anymore. The old Sony saw the, they saw the Venom and Sam Raimi saw the Venom and they were like, no, that is not the way we do it. Now, this is an older Sony. I wouldn't say wiser Sony, but a little more experienced Sony and a new director and new actors and new everything. So this is a whole new franchise. What we get to see is we get to see a chance of Venom being uh, handled better, handle, handle way better, we get to see a, uh, a black suit, Ven I mean, black suit, uh, Peter Parker, which, we guys, it's not gonna be the emo, it's not gonna be that, okay, it is so not gonna be that, I can tell you, if Mark saw the amazing Spider-Man, I mean, I, if Mark saw the, uh, Spider-Man 3, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna put that in the amazing Spider-Man, no, he's not. Guys, so don't be afraid. I know people have already just like Venom again. No, we're not gonna. You already messed him up once. Who says you won't do it a second time? There are people like that out in the world, but you know you just gotta give him a second chance. He is one of the, um. I mean, they've already done Greek Goblin twice. 
so they might as well do Venom twice, or, yeah, they've already nailed all the big villains, but, yeah, we might see get see him again, alright? A bad reason is it's less money for Sony if they keep going on with the franchise. Now, P as I've said before, people hate The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Sony Pictures at the same time. It's like, <laughs> it's just like that. Now, alright, so the reason it's less money is that it's let's say you have a really bad franchise. Like, you had the first one was a good movie. People hated the second one, but they're going to keep going on with the third one. All those fans that you lost at the second one, the second one won't be going to the third one. So that's just millions and millions of dollars right there just lost. Now, the, the bad reason is, is because Spider-Man 3, Sam Raimi, was the most highly um, Spider-Man ever. The most... Highest grossing at the box office. That's because, you know, because of certain reasons. But Spider-Man, um, it's just like that. I mean, you've already lost a bunch of fans. It's just like me. Let's say I, I have a whole family of big Spider-Man loving people. All right? Let's say we all first saw the first Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, we're going to see the second one. We see the second one. We hate the second one. And they see we're coming out with the third one. And they're like, nah, man, we ain't going to see that. Now, that's just a bunch of people and their money that you just lost, okay? So, they're already losing money and fans as we speak right now. More like as I speak, because I'm sounding pretty nerdy right now. But, you know, <laughs> Alright, but yeah, they, they've already lost a bunch of money and fans. So, if you go on with the third one, you can try and do something different, but I doubt that you'll win them back, okay? Alright, a good reason is, of uh, alright, as, like, a continue watching, like, a segue... To my next reason, good reason why they should can continue with the franchise, or if they do, it could be a bounce back for Sony. Now, most of you guys have already lost me by the time I said uh, the first good reason. <laughs> but but um, th this is the last good reason. The third good reason is because it might be a bounce back for Sony. Now, Sony has seen two bad Spider-Man movies, okay? So, they... If somebody who has a brain in that Sony freaking, oh my gosh, if somebody has a brain in that Sony room and sees, we've, we've, done three, we've done three villains in two movies and both those movies sucked. We've had underdeveloped villains in both those movies and both those movies sucked. So we really need to change something if we're going to get this right and we're going to get these fans back. Now, we need somebody... Somebody new, it can't be Avi or Rai, because I love you, dude, but you've been at this way too long. Let's get some new, fresher ideas. Because, uh, like, he's just been holding on to Spider-Man. And I remember back in the day, he said if Spider-Man's going to be in the MCU, it has to be all about Spider-Man. He literally said that. And I am so ticked off, okay, that he said that, because that is so selfish, that is greedy. And especially when you have a cast like Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, and you have this newcomer, Andrew Garfield, he, he, has, he gets some good screen time, but it can't be all about him. Alright, that's just my quick thoughts on that. But um, we need somebody new, we need somebody fresh, who comes in, who has good ideas, and who can bring back The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Because The Amazing Spider-Man 3, for all we know, could be the worst, or could be the best movie we've ever seen. Okay, just think about that, alright? And my last bad reason is that you've pretty much already lost, Sony. You just got sometimes you just gotta accept the truth. You've already lost. You got 99.9% .9 of fans already having <laughs> Spider-Man is pretty much Marvel now. It's pretty much Marvel. That's I th I think that's Marvel's top priority right now. Spider uh, Marvel's two top priorities right now is Avengers: Age of Ultron and and um. <laughs> And uh, getting Spider-Man back. That's what I think their two, uh, their two big priorities should be right now. And if Sony, if you're losing money and fans as we speak, and you're gonna make another third one, and people are just gonna hate on that, and they're gonna do whatever they they can to spoil that movie and bash on it and not get good reviews, then you might as well just give up. You say, you know what? We tried. We failed. Marvel, here you go. It's just as simple as that. I mean, it's just as simple as accepting defeat. Now, that were three good reasons, three bad reasons. Let me repeat them. The three good reasons is that we might get to see the rest of the franchise. Uh, we might get to see Venom again. And 
we might see a bounce back from Sony. The three bad reasons is we might not get to see Spider-Man in the MCU. Um, we, we, that's less money for Sony, and Sony's pretty much already lost. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is a good thing that they're moving on, or a bad thing that they're moving on? I think it's a... Per I'm 50-50, because I really want to see what Mark Webb has for this franchise. But I also just like want like Sony to just like give up and go back to Marvel. And yeah, and for this new May Spider-Man 3 that this place is calling them, is because... Uh, Andrew Garfield and Dane DeHaan, they're all, Dane DeHaan or Han or whatever it is, Dane DeHaan, they're already gonna be in that movie, it says starring Andrew Garfield and Dane DeHaan, so, get to see more Goblin, get to see more Spidey, it's the same old thing, but, yeah, let me, um, let me know what you guys think, I know this is a long, very nerdy video, but, uh, thank you all for watching, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I'm out for now.